I became a house painter very early in my life. The main thing is I love people. And so when I go into new jobs now, more than 50 years after my first paintbrush, I still feel this desire that I want to make people happy with what I do for them. I do remember the very first time I found out that I had diabetes. I was experiencing some symptoms on the squash court that were mystifying me and I went to see a doctor to ask what could be causing them and after my blood tests he said you have type 2 diabetes. Okay so I'm diabetic <laughs> and he sent me home with some oral medications and not a bunch of advice about anything really just take these pills and uh, come back and see me in a year. I didn't know very much about diabetes but I was interested in becoming as well as I could be. I'd say that the biggest influences on my work life came after I began to take insulin. When you are on insulin, a whole bunch of other possibilities arise. You could have taken too much insulin. And now, if you're working in a place where you're isolated, which I often am, I could have a life-threatening emergency and not even really know about it. So if you're at the top of a ladder, you don't want any mishaps. There's nobody to check on me. And so I have to be aware that I should test myself more often because I wasn't sure how I was doing. I remember at one time jabbing my finger as many as 12 times a day and overall feeling that I was not making much progress. Discouragement has often been a part of the road and sometimes frustration because when you think you're doing all you can do, then you don't know what to do and which way to turn. Ooh, how about we go for a little walk? You'd like that? There we go. Let's put this on. Come on, buddy. Come on. I was watching television one night and I saw a Dexcom commercial and they said, we'll send you a free starter kit if you're taking insulin. And I thought, okay, it's my chance. So I got one and uh, boy, everything changed quite a bit in a very short time after that. I was at work only about four or five days after I had put my first sensor on and I heard this alarming sound coming from my phone. So I pulled my phone out of my pocket and looked at it and it said, urgent, low, soon, alert. I didn't know it, but I'd been taking a herbal supplement that was interfering with my insulin. And what a blessing that I put that Dexcom sensor on just a few days before this happened. I feel like my life was in danger at that time and that the information that that alert gave me really made a difference. Having that predictive ability in a CGM <laughs> is really a deal changer. How's it going? Good, it's looking good. See, we're ready for you. So but I need those cumin it's seeds. It's working, we're working Sizzling on it. Sizzling first. <laughs> Living with type two diabetes, a person like myself is faced with many decisions every day and then sometimes hour by hour, uh, whether you'll do a certain activity, whether you'll eat a certain food, whether you'll take a certain medication, or whether you'll inject a certain amount of insulin. And if you're going to make these decisions, you need accurate information, which the G7 can give you. It can help guide you through choices that you have to make about your food and your treatment. Cumulatively, all these decisions that you're making are changing your A1C when, without you even noticing it. My A1C was 6.3 four months after I'd put my first Dexcom sensor on. I feel a lot safer when I'm at work because of the G7. Uh, one of the reasons is because Kristen, my dear wife, follows me on her phone. She can easily pull up her phone and look at what my current numbers are for glucose levels. Done. 
<laughs> Even if I forget to check what my levels are, I know that she's on it. I can check my phone within seconds knowing exactly what's going on and steer him in the right direction. I worry a great deal less than I did before. That is an absolute fact. My favorite part of using the Dexcom is when my numbers aren't quite what Kristen wants to see and she texts me or phones me to let me know that she's watching. As a person who has lived with type 2 diabetes for 20 years, the more I took control of what I was doing, the better I felt about being a person living with diabetes. And I think that's a key thing to share with people with diabetes is take control of your life. Dexcom has allowed me to being a person living with diabetes very healthily. You'll feel way better when you realize that you're in the driver's seat.